of the morning to you ladies! My name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to Spider-Man DOS, baby! Look at this anti-venom suit! It looks so cool! I want the... The like 90s animated Spider-Man suit like this. Like the... I think it is in the game. I, I think I did see somebody talking about it somewhere. That would be so cool to get. Where it's like the sleek black suit that he had from the animated show. Anyway, we do have a main mission, uh, Harry's at Dr. Connor's lab, but I want to progress the Yuri uh, section first because that was really fun that we were doing that beforehand and I don't want to neglect it right now. We also have so many like symbiote pockets that we need to do, but I don't really like doing them. <laughs> They're not as fun. I also have more like Mysterio things to do as Miles. There's those birds to get, there's crimes to do. Like there's a lot left to do, but it's all like really repetitive kind of side content. So I'm a bit less inclined to do it all the time. Woohoo! That messed you guys up. Not today, buddy boy! Go to sleep! Who else wants a piece, huh? You? I'll dodge and I'll kick and I'll dodge again! Ow, and I'll I'll get hit and I'll get hit. But so will you, and you're all dead. Just Don't take damage. A bit longer. Oh man. Hey! Everybody out! Wait, did I do this? Is this my Please. gunk? Man, I'm just shooting ropes everywhere, aren't I? Anyway, see you later. Bit anticlimactic, but whatever. Ah, I was hoping I could web zip. A little spider. Uh, uh, where am I going? Where am I going? Over here. Ooh. Where are you at? You're close. I can hear you. We've got a prowler on prowler our spider bot. Voss? <laughs> Hello? No cultists. Looks like they're keeping watch on that scrapyard nearby. And there's some burned up papers. Let's get this done, Harold. Oscorp. I better get down there. I mean, that's technically Harry's full name. Harold Osborne. And Norman's full name is Normandy Osborne. This doesn't look like an Oscorp property. What are they- The Crimson Hour won't be long now, my embers. My embers, that's cute. Soon enough. All those innocent people. Usually how it goes. I feel like everything we've been doing all the time is always all those innocent people. Bombs can be disarmed at range. Beware the enemies. Beware nearby enemies while disarming bombs. Okay. So this Go is to sleep hour. and good night. Well, that itchy nose, beard hairs getting all up in my face. Um. I'm surprised they don't have more, like, double takedown opportunities. Oh, that might get me spotted. Nope, everyone's stupid. <laughs> Can I, like, go down there and do something? If I, like, drop down there, am I gonna get spotted? I feel like I am. Oh, wait. Duh! Oh, did you spot someone? It's fine. They're okay. They're just sleeping. Nice, over here. Please. Do you remember the day you ah! your fellow members? I do. Oh, I can do this. 
That is not what I meant to do, but okay. That'll work. Spider-Man! Are you not like... I don't think that's a guy I take down. It's not letting me like perch take him down or saying that he's safe or whatever. Yep. Maybe the takedown is with the guy for like taking down. No, maybe not. I'm confused. Can you guys fucking move somewhere? Go over there. So annoying. Yeah, see, it's not letting me take him down with a perch takedown. I have to do the other thing. But I'm worried that if I do that, it's going to trigger everything. Let's just try it. See? Why did it work like that? That was weird. I didn't like that. It wouldn't let me perch take down. It was just saying grab and pull the bomb. Oh, these guys are easy to take down, at least. That's two. Maybe I can be a little quieter from here on out. <laughs> yeah, you got it, Pete. You got it. Don't worry. It's all hunky daisies. See, but there's like three of you down there. Ooh, could I do that? Calling me that is cringe. <laughs> Spider Man doesn't kill people until he does. I just dropped the car on those people. How are they not dead? <laughs> Frodo wants him found. Look, there's somebody inside the building. All oh, right, those are the innocent people. I see, like, how am I supposed to do this? We're cleaning this place up. You should have seen it before the flame bought it. I guess even if they did come, that you fools come up with Spider Man. That was the wrong one. Y'all hold on a sec while I defuse these bombs. It's hard to focus on two things at once. And there's just one guy left. He's up there. Easy. Why are the bombs going offline? Oh no, the welder. Yuri. What are you doing, Yuri? Turns out spinning a thing in front of you doesn't stop fire. Hey Yuri, watch this! I don't know. I disarmed four of them, but there may be more. Hey boys! There's so many more of them than I thought. Well, that didn't do anything, did it? Sounds like all this is the start of their crimson. Ouch. You think of Oh, that was close. We can find him together when we're done here. Come here. You stinky little gun man. Hey! Reinforcements, of course. Ow. Hit. 
epic. Thanks, Yuri. That actually helped. I was about to get smacked. If you're going to leave, just leave. Not a chance. Ow. Forgot that that happens. This doesn't have to get ugly again. Apparently it does. Come here, boys. That was sweet. Did we do it? Did we actually do it? Oh, tell me. Uh-oh. Stop the train! Stop the train like in the uh, Spider-Man 2 movie! It's gonna hit the tankers. You've stopped trains before, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no brakes. Great. Cool. It's not working. Got any ideas? We derail it. How are we supposed to do that? With bombs. Believe we're doing this. Uh. Really? It's not working. My God! Oh, I thought his legs went under it. Oink. Oh, he is under it. Little help. Oh, uh, there he is. Yes, you're gonna have to make up a new prophecy. Before you and I met, one of my embers told me about his work at Oscorp and this treatment that they had discovered. Who cares, right? A fancy suit that can make you big and strong is just another case of the unworthy trying to cheat death and play God. Oh. That's what I thought, too. But... When devils attack the city, like I prophesied, an Oscorp sent out some of this treatment for safekeeping. You're waterboarding me! I knew it was meant for me. Judgment. And carnage. I was just gonna say, he's not carnage, is he? But now it makes sense because he's all red and he's all about flame and. Jesus! So is that, is it Cletus Cassidy? Is that his name? Thank you. Just drives over him. Underground, just like last time, but I'll find him. You could have killed him, but you saved me instead. I 
told you. I'm trying to save the most lives. And you still do that pretty well. You gonna turn me in now? I'll let you know when I find him. Damn, look at her go. So he's Carnage. That train derailed so he could get a symbiote. At least we stopped him from taking innocent lives in the process. Saving hey, life suit. Yuri, do you want help tracking down the flame? Thanks, but I need some time to myself. Besides, we've taken down a good chunk of his operation. So he'll be going back to the drawing board. I'll start checking his old aliases. Archie Abel, Walter Wackman, Cletus Cassidy. But this could take months, maybe even years. I'll be ready when you've got something. Thanks. I couldn't turn her in after she saved me. Maybe I could never. Whoa. Why do I have a spider sense? All right, I'll take it from here. Symbiotes come from Symbiote Town. Uh oh. Ow. 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 Oh my God. There's so many symbiote bombs on the ground. This destroyed me. Well, wait. Does that mean the flame stuff is done now? Until like the next game, or am I gonna have to wait for her to do stuff here? Hey, Night Monkey. I don't like this suit. Spider jump and spider dash are partially- Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do I want? Maybe this. Can I switch to Miles for a, a minute? I mean, I can go there and see if I can just switch to him on the fly. God, that fast travel is nuts. There you go. Because I want to finish out this mission. Oh yeah, I'm Spider-Verse Miles! No one here yet. I'll just hang for a bit until the party starts. <sighs> it looks incredible. You were supposed to pay this us is our me, last Pete. delivery. Gotta help Ma. You'll get paid when I get everything. Where is it? Where is what? Lewis said you were bringing the saxophone. Lewis said? Lewis got picked up by the cops. He don't got no saxophone. You set this meeting up! No, we didn't. Now where's our money? Where is the saxophone? Darren? The big donor from the museum? I better bust up this party and have a talk with him. I should get the whole bunch wrapped up before they hurt someone. We're fed up with you not paying us. We don't work for free. Nice. <laughs> God, it looks so good in motion, the suit. I can explain. That's gonna have to be a longer conversation. Now he really feels like Miles. Because Spider-Verse has been such a big thing that it's hard not to be sort of influenced by it when you think of Miles Morales. He's having to deal with a Spider-Man that shoots electricity out of him. That's so much more difficult. <laughs> Nice. Now what's your deal? Well, that seems to be all of them. Let's get to the bottom of this with Darren. <laughs> oh, thank you, Spider-Man. And I assure you, there's a very reasonable explanation. Uh -huh. That seems extremely dubious. Wait till Councilwoman Morales hears you were involved in this. Leon, here. Time to exterminate a spider. Darren, stay back. Send it back at him. Come on. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> nice. God, this suit looks cool. Ow. <laughs> Yeah. 
Woo! Okay, Darren. Darren? Where do you go? Are you kidding me? He was right here. Apprehend Darren. I still have his number. Sounds like he's close. Oh, you ain't getting away, Buckaroo. Bad guys on Darren's tail. Can't blame him. We want their money. Who is this? Is this Lewis? Darren, stop the car. Spider Man? Can you at least stop these guys chasing me? You weren't trying to retrieve Ryan. those things. You were the one behind the robbery in the first place. I care about these objects. You pretended to care, and then stole from the museum. It's this community's history. It's my family's history. I don't expect you to understand. I don't think I'm the one who doesn't understand. Let's get these other bad guys out the way first. Try to stop this and put all these guys behind bars. I mean, I'm trying, but you guys were talking for a long time. Police are on their way. That's so sick. Oh, but it stuck me there. That would look so cool. My father was one of the most successful music producers ever. He produced half the artists in that museum. Good for him. Now stop the car and tell me what the rest of the pieces are. Yeah, good for him. No one cares. I'm coming, Darren. I'm coming. Here we go. Not today, Darren. Dude, I'm Spider Man. I'm sticky. <laughs> Sorry about your Range Rover, though. Nice. Glad I remember which one was the break. It's not that hard. My license one of these days. Yeah, me too. Just so I get this right. All that talk of supporting the museum. All Angela's time you wasted asking about operations and security. All lies. So you can learn how to steal the collection. But my family... No. I'm sure you do care about this music. But those things don't belong to you. They belong to this community. Let's go, sir. You're under arrest. Nice. This event would not have been possible without our wonderful curator, Angela, mm -hmm. and this entire community. The way we pulled together to recover the stolen items is nothing less than amazing. Spider-Man. Okay, okay. Cool. <clears throat> the funky drummer. Clyde yeah, Stubblefield. Gotta study up on this guy. He must have been a real person then. That's a real picture. He laid down the most influential and most sample funk rhythms ever recorded. His drum patterns laid the foundation not only for funk music, but also for music, much of hip hop. A dancer, singer, and comedian, Florence Mills shot to stardom after her role in the hit 1921 Broadway musical Shuffle Along. An outspoken advocate of equal rights for black Americans, she was a powerful role model and broke numerous racial barriers. Hell yeah. Hey, what up, Genki? Hey, I guess it all worked out. This museum is fire. And so much music I want to go listen to now. <laughs> right? Bro, oh, it's so inspiring. Hey, you want to have breakfast tomorrow? I can tell you all my new music ideas. Let's do it. I'm going to keep checking this out. Uh, I won't talk to you yet. I want to read up more about the musical stuff. Damn, what an outfit! That? And she was a secret agent fighting Nazis? Huh. Josephine Baker, role model. Josephine Baker was a firework, an entertainer, civil rights activist, and undercover agent in the French Resistance during World War II. She captivated audience around the world, the first black woman to star in a major motion picture in 1927. She made a splash performing at the... Folie Berger in Paris, sometimes accompanied by her pet cheetah. Whoa, badass. A Trinidad. I can say I accomplished that much someday. 
A Trinidad-born American, Hazel Scott was a piano prodigy and virtuoso who received scholarships to study at Juilliard at age eight. She became an acclaimed jazz and classical pianist and vocalist through the 1930s and 1940s in New York nightclubs. The first black woman to have ever, to have her own television show in America, she used her visibility to adv advocate for civil rights. Damn, so many inspiring people. Hey, I heard you helped find the missing saxophone. Yeah, I got to hold it. Bird coax miracles from that hunk of metal. My dad was a big Charlie Parker fan. He'd be happy to know the sax is here for everyone to appreciate. And maybe lead them back to the music. Music hmm, is magic. Nice. Miles, isn't this place awesome? I'm embarrassed to say I've never been here before. But after hearing about the robbery, I thought I'd better come check it out. From what I heard, that guy convinced himself all this stuff rightfully belonged to him. Crazy what some people can convince themselves is true. Yeah. Like, some people think they're Spider-Man. It's crazy. Can I look at this one? No. Okay. I get checked out everything in there. Wow. It's cool to see, like, actual history stuff. Langston Hughes wrote poetry, I plays... The other night ...by the pale, dull pallor of an old gaslight. He did a lazy sway. He did a lazy sway. That's some lyrics right there. One might say bars. Langston Hughes wrote poetry, plays, and novels and was greatly influential during the Harlem Renaissance. He wrote for black people about black people in the style of a black art form, jazz. His words mimic the swing and rhythms, the repetition of jazz. The, re the, the Weary Blues by Langston Hughes. I'm probably gonna butcher this, but... Droning a drowsy, syncopated tune, rocking back and forth to a mellow croon. I heard, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this word. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm scared of the internet. <laughs> Down on Lennox Avenue the other night, by the pale, dull pallor of an old gaslight, he did a lazy sway, he did a lazy sway. To the tune of those weary blues, with his ebony hands on each ivory key, he made that poor piano moan with melody. Oh, blues, swaying to and fro on his rickety stool. He played that sad, raggy tune like a music musical fool. Sweet blues coming from a black man's soul. Oh, blues. In a, deep so in a deep song voice with a melancholy tone, I heard that... Again, I'm, I'm scared. That old piano moan. Ain't got nobody in this world. Ain't got nobody but myself. Is going to quit my frowning and put my troubles on the shelf. Okay. I feel like I'm I'm too white to get a lot of this stuff, but it's absolutely fascinating to read up on the history of it. In the world. Especially the amount of like musicality and art forms and everything that are just present in this culture. It's so cool. Cuz Irish people are also like really big poetry people and music people. Um and bla back in the day, it would say stuff like, no black people and no Irish. Now, I mean, we weren't persecuted nearly as much as the black community was, but it's just interesting to see that people with that sort of history have so much artistry and so much culture and so much to share with the world. I mean, I would, I would love to go to a museum like this. Is this based on an actual museum in real life? Claude McKay was a Jamaican-American poet, novelist, intellectual, and political activist who became a central figure of the Harlem Renaissance in the 1920s. His poems celebrated Jamaican culture and pushed back against the racism he experienced when he came to America. Still around, buddy. Sadly. Aye, we were hoping you'd be here. Oh, wow. Your mom is something else. That... She is. Can you believe that guy pretended to be a donor and then robbed the place? Thank God he didn't get away with it. I agree. Thank God for Spider-Man. needs to be here. Not in some guy's penthouse where he's the only one who could see it. Yup. Ooh, more drummers? Hello? Miles? It's so cool how other people have been able to do music and save the world stuff. 
That is true, actually. There's a lot of activists here trying to make the world a better place, and it's very uh, symbolic of what Miles is going through. There's a good parallel to it. Gabriel Jones is an accomplished jazz trumpeter in the 1930s, Harlem, who studied with Danny Drummer Bellman. The two remained friends and played music together before enlisting in army intelligence during World War II. Bellamin was held as a POW by the Nazis and valiantly gave his life while saving humanity from a Nazi virus. Jones later served in the Korean War and served a long and distinguished career in S.H.I.E.L.D. I forgot that we're actually in fiction <laughs> for a Spider-Man story. I'm like, S.H.I.E.L.D.? But I forgot that we're not Angela, in the real world in the Miles, game. Councilwoman Morales' son. Miles, she talks about you all the time. Congratulations on the exhibit. I'm glad it all came together. Thanks to your mom and Spider-Man, of course. Whew, this neighborhood is blessed to have them both. You're welcome, Tio. Hey, Miles. I figured I'd better come see that saxophone in its right place. It was your tip that helped with the saxophone recovery. Those are guitars. Oh, not really. It was all ours, Spider-Man. Guy, not the cat. Well, it was a community effort. Give your Spider-Man some ear scratches for me. I will. <laughs> That's so cute. Let's go dance, Miles! What moves you got? Yeah! Okay. <laughs> is this it? Saxophone is Charlie Parker, also known as Bird. Bebop let musicians show off. Eugene was right. That is what MCs do. <laughs> Gotta listen a little more closely. Also known as Bird helped develop the bebop style, which expanded the possibilities of jazz music by speeding up tempos, adding more complex chord progressions, and allowing for virtuosity and improvisation. Cool. It's cool to actually learn stuff as you're playing the game. I should finish looking around before I go talk to Ma and head out. I did. I looked at everything. Thank you all. Thank you so much. <laughs> Damn, mom's looking good! Angela told me the museum has a record number of new memberships. Seriously? They're gonna be okay. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you, Ma. Now hear me out. What if we really teamed up on the next one? I can get my own suit. Ma! Maybe. Algo con brillo. Ma, stop. <laughs> stop it. Get out of here. That's so <laughs> cute. Dance with me. <laughs> oh, I love them. Cool. We did it. I'm glad I got that one finished. That and the fire one I was really interested in. City sound suit. Ah, oh, that looks cool. Like a 1920s, like, like a Bugsy Malone kind of suit. Wait, that means that Peter's one is at the bottom as well. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that. No, I mean, I'm staying in. I'm staying in these two suits, I think, for the rest of the game. These are just so cool. Um, focus is very important. I can max that out. Gain additional focus while doing air attacks. Super helpful. Oh, this suit is so cool. Maybe he'll get a wingsuit in the next movie. Although it takes place right after the second one, so maybe not. You remember those recent thefts at the Harlem Cultural Center? Yep. Turns out Darren Shipman was pulling the strings. If that name sounds familiar, it's because he's a multimillionaire with his name on everything, because his money is in everything. So we have a special guest today to drop some knowledge on us about an exciting new opportunity for budding artists to share in the joys of responsible art. Please welcome renowned street artist and head of the Cooper Art Haley! Haley Cooper. Hi, Danica. I'm Genki Lee, Haley's interpreter. She's signing next to me. She says she's concerned. Oh, excited to be here. I'm still learning. 
<laughs> Fantastic. Welcome, both of you. So, Haley, tell us all about your coalition. Thanks, Danica. Thanks for interpreting, Genki. You're doing great. Aw, uh, thanks. Uh, I was born deaf. Sign language didn't come easy at first, so I drew my feelings. I communicated through art. Still do. So when I found a copy of one of my pieces up for sale, it felt like a piece of me was stolen with it. That's when I started the Cooper Art Coalition, a union that protects NYC artists of all mediums from theft. That's cool. Great. It's about time we had a force to fight underground theft like this. Can you tell us more about what the coalition is doing to protect artists? We look out for each other, make sure we don't see copies where copies shouldn't be. And we have digital activists keeping an eye out for unauthorized online dealings. We're 63 artists strong and growing every day. I love this. Awesome organization protecting awesome people. It's cool. How can budding artists get in touch? Through our website. Link is on the Danacast blog homepage. Send a picture or two of your pieces and your weight and... Oh, no. Uh, your name. And, your weight. Uh, we'll be in touch. <laughs> there you have it, folks. The Cooper Arts Coalition. Okay. Any That's cool. I didn't know Haley was doing that. All right. I have to use finishers on enemies. Spider-Man? What is this? Help! Hey! Where'd they go? You think you can defeat my most demanding illusion? I know. I don't have finishers, though. I need to, like, build that up, I guess? Wasn't it that this gave me more focus now? This is gonna take forever! Ow, ow. That's only one finisher! I wonder if I could have entered the fight with three finishers built up already. Does this give me stuff for that? Oh, wait. Those are bullets, not something you can parry. I guess I could just keep punching the shit out of dudes. Halfway there, not too bad. What? You've done well so far, but can you hit what you cannot see? Not really. Why would you make it so needlessly complicated? I can't see anything. I mean, that's the point. They're invisible, but you know what I mean. Oh, normally I would use that to heal myself, but now I can't. Okay, just be aware of the red above my head. And beware of shadows. Big help. Damn it! Okay, one more. Fuck! Damn it! Okay, I'm not doing that one. I that was annoying. I I just want to be able to fight dudes. No, let me out! I don't want to... Abandon challenge! I don't want to do it. Whatever. I... I don't care. I was never a big fan of the fighting challenges in the previous game, either. Oh! Norman, what are you doing? Whoa! <laughs> A 
love how menacing he is. Please. Just give me back my son. We are your son. What a perfect voice. Look at us. We are healthy. Strong. This is what you want. Isn't it? Stop, Harry! We can help you! Damn. Where's the rest of it? Gonna turn into What's super gonna venom that or I think we're about to find out. You need to know. Harry's gone. Host and symbiote are perfectly fused. I'll find a way to save him. You can't. But you can still stop the symbiote. How? By killing the host. Please, save my boy. Fuck. The whole city. This is so impressive from a technical standpoint when you think about it. Like, look how good that looks! Because this is more like what real-life lighting looks like. Are you guys surprised it took me this long to talk about lighting in the game? Spider-Man, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing right now. We've got a lot of New Yorkers being attacked by these... things. I'm on it. Stay safe out there. All he needed was that meteorite. Now he can oh. heal the world. This isn't what we meant. Whoa! Oi, oi, oi! <laughs> Not really the time for that. Yeah, this looks awesome. Because real life lighting is boring like this. Well, not boring as in like this looks boring. I mean that it's very flat lighting, so that's why this looks more realistic to me. So cool. Um. Oh my god, it's even on the map! That's impressive. I also have all these blinds to do as well. But it's like you just get like tech parts and stuff for doing all these. I think my characters are pretty teched out. God, this looks so good! Symbiotes are trying to get at those people! Nice. Whoa, hey, 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 hey! Messing up all my buttons. Nice. Oh, 
little fucker. Heal the world! Who's left? Oh! <laughs> What's he doing? Uh oh. Those civilians are in trouble. I'm coming! As fast as I can! There's mutants everywhere, or symbiotes. Whoa, so cool! This is like when you play Batman Arkham Knight, and the... Uh, sort of like... I forget what it is, like the gas, the fog blocks everybody. I'll take care of these things. Just stay inside the bus. Nice. Going well so far. Good job, Pete. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. You little rat. Yeah, you're safe now. Open the doors. Come this on out. This not safe. If you don't have a place to go, feast is open to anyone. Maybe you're not so bad after all. Thank you. What do you mean I'm not so bad after all? I'm great. We have to talk. No kidding. There are nests popping up everywhere. Sending you coordinates now. You got it. Watch yourself out there. Man. <laughs> this is something else. You're leaving the mission area in an open world Spider-Man game. I'll find you, buddy. I'll find you. I wonder if he will Somewhere. be able to save him or if Harry will just die at the end. I don't know. In terms of plot and in terms of like character progression and arcs, him dying would be a huge deal. Because then it would like trigger Norman to react and... But he did have Aunt May die last game, so I don't know if they would do that again. What is that? That suit's not an alien, is it? <laughs> it's time for a Miles Morales original, you know? One of one. <laughs> it looks good. No, it doesn't. Also, your hair is sticking out. What happened, man? Harry got the meteorite. I, uh... I couldn't stop him. Connor said we can't save him, so we have... I can't lose him, Miles. I can't do this again. I saw May when I was... in your head. It's not your fault, Pete. She wanted to save you. To save all of us. She never thought about herself. Even when she was struggling to breathe. If May... my dad... If they were here, they would want us to stop thinking about them. They'd want us to help people. To fight. Harry's still in there. And we're gonna fight like hell to get him back. Call the play coach. Let's split up. Cover more ground. You find the meteorite, I'll clear that nest out. You got it, Spider-Man. Dude, this suit is not good. I really don't like it. I, am I alone? Stay safe out there, let me know you're okay. Also, having your hair stick out like that, isn't that give away your identity a bit? 
Like, you do a lot of work in Harlem as Spider-Man. I doubt there's that many people in Harlem with that exact haircut. I don't know, it's just weird to me. I mean, good for you, Miles. Like, you made your own suit, but... I mean, I'm gonna change it immediately. <laughs> Ooh, hold on. Dude, these ones are better. Uh, maybe not this one. But I like the colors in this more, and I'm just a fan of the white suits. Uh, but we're going back to Spider-Verse. Sorry. You know, you spend a lot of time working on your own suit, and it looks really cool and all that, but... This suit is an all-timer. Like Oof. It's hard to look at whatever's going on on screen, though. Oh, I forgot I'm supposed to be protecting these. Just go down. What? Hello? Huh? I've never had symbiote, so how is he in my head? You little jumpy bastards! Where's that voice coming from? I can't let them get to the heart. Oh, something's freaking out. Nice. Maybe because I went inside Peter's head? But now Miles can hear it? I don't know. when you finish up. Stay focused, Pete. Oh, I pressed dodge. That didn't hit anybody. I don't know who you aimed that at. Ah! Ten more seconds. This better work. Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! That Venom voice is so good. Why would you leave? We are yeah, it was Tony Todd here. that does the voice. You can be too. You, Peter. Us. This isn't where I belong, Harry. Neither do you. Come on, Miles. Come on. Uh-oh. Haley? What are you showing me? Please join us. At least now I saw where that is. Cool. 
cool. Haley's in trouble. Pete, I saw the meteorite. It's under the Harlem subway station, next to the bridge. Dude, uh, a Miles symbiote would go hard. Heading there now. Wait for me, though, man. Harry, he's after you. I have to go help Haley, but just wait, all right? Whoa, whoa, back up. What happened? Cool. I sucked into the hive mind. Saw this vision of the meteorite underground. But I've got a bad feeling. You think Harry's there? I'm serious, Pete. Just give me ten minutes. You cannot do this alone. Right. Call me when you're done. Sorry, Miles, but I can't waste any time. God, you just said that you were listening to him and you were like, call the play, coach. And everything seemed great, and now... Everyone stay in your cars! I won't let them hurt you! Harry! Venom! I know you're here! You found us. Yes, I'm here, buddy! I know! Just hang on! I'm coming! Eh. When you got an itchy face, but you're busy being Spider-Man? Nice. Come on, come on! They're coming out of the subway tunnel! The meteorite has to be underground. Please talk to me! Ooh. Not this time, now I learned your trick. Oh, I only grabbed one of them. Should do that one before I do anything else with it. God, why is my face so itchy? I forgot I had a uh, symbiote surge. I'll find you, buddy. I'm coming. Just stay down. There, the nice. subway tunnel. <laughs> I don't know where you jumped in from. Hey, everything all good with Haley? Not yet. But you still owe me a few more minutes. Hang tight! Haley! No! <laughs> what are you doing here? Those monsters attacked and I offered up the center for shelter. Why are you here? Shouldn't you be out there fighting? I was... I was trying to save... You're incredible. I, I like you so much, and I think you like me. Do you want to go out? On a date? New suit? I like it. It suits you. Yeah, but it's not the one he made. <laughs> Is that a yes? I'm a world famous artist now. I'm busy. But I'll check my calendar. We'll see. <laughs> well, it's a date then. After all this is over. Mm hmm. Bye. Cute. Pete, I'm on the way. Pete, Pete went underground like a dum dum. Harry! Hey, it's Harry. Leave a message. Hey, buddy. I talked to Dr. Connors. He says you're too far gone, but I know that's not true. Harry, I messed up. It was terrible to you. Your dream, our dream, healing the world. I'm sorry. 
This works out great. Oh no. Oh yeah. Who are you? Did you go down there? Oh yeah. He has to be here. He has to be. I'm sorry, I couldn't. I know, man. I'll try to find a way inside. It's gonna be okay. Everyone's gonna be okay. Nice. God damn it. So many of them. I have to get to that meteorite. I'm so close. God damn it. Just a little more, Pete. There's so many attacks happening all the time that it's hard to know which ones are which. Oh, cool sound. That was a bit of a waste, but. Harry, Harry, talk to me. Please help us, Peter. It's a trick. I'm trying, buddy. I just need that meteorite, okay? Don't trust him. Whoa, this is like the end of Resi 8. Miles, I'm not seeing a rock. No? Hold on, I'm nearly to you. Uh oh. Thanks for coming, Pete. We want to show you something. Twice the height of Peter. Heal the world together. Yo, bro. Not cool. Yo, bro. We can't stay here. Those electrical powers come in real handy. Yes! I wonder what the boss fight with him will be like. You're good, man? Oh, we need to call MJ. I know where the meteorite is. Finally free. MJ, we all need to meet up at May's house. What's going on out there, guys? It's the meteorite that the symbiote arrived in. He's using it to transform the city. I know where it is. And we're gonna steal it. Time to game plan. I'm in. See you guys at home. See you, Dale! Let me get this, because I want to be able to get one of these. Yeah, this one's good. Oh, the sky looks cool. Oh, JJ. Can I fast travel? <laughs> Oh fucking listen to him. He's so annoying. Inside your homes. Lock the doors. Board the windows. Trust 
no one. The city is overrun with a miasma of massive, oppressive tendrils emanating from the ground beneath our feet. Shut up, Jonah. Creatures from what feels like hell. This is your last chance to collect resources to upgrade gear before the end of the story. Huh? It's the last story mission? Already? Okay, let me go do some like photo ops. My loyal <laughs> listeners have taken to the forums looking for any signs of It's kind of hard to do side content right now when the game is clearly like this is the end of the world. You need to act fast. So even though you can take as much time as you want, it still feels like you're supposed to be doing this quick. It's that the heroes make things worse, not better. In the meantime, stay safe. Remain vigilant. We will get through this. New York does not go down without a fight. And I will be there. Right next to you. On the front lines. Come. Shut up. Hold on. <sighs> Lots of menus. What is this? Starfield? Oh! New York's always had a thriving underground wrestling scene. Even been to a few shows myself. That combination of theatricality with amazing feats of strength and athleticism, it's electrifying. I was gonna say, does it have that scene? But I forgot that in the Spider-Man universe, that's how he gets started, right? Crop circles. Coaches youth baseball team here. Every game we play, the parents talk more trash than the kids. <laughs> Myself included. That's <coughs> <laughs> uh, understandable. You want your kids to do their best and win. Whee! Um, there's like symbiote nests and stuff to do. Cause these just get me rare tech parts. Which is good for my suit, but. Nah, I'm just gonna do the story mission. Cause if I if I want to, I can come back and get all this stuff afterwards. We can do like a bonus episode to get more of the side content. Man, the game's way shorter than I expected. Does it feel shorter than the first game to anybody? Turns out this mission is four hours long. <laughs> Central Park Reservoir. The water system. Pumping goo everywhere. Adding more and more people to the hive mind. If all those symbiotes get out of Manhattan. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, planet goo. The meteorite is the source of all the power, right? Creating goo, creating symbiotes. But it was useless until Harry repaired it. Yeah. And that particle accelerator is what damaged it in the first place. Cut off a piece at low power. Right, so what if we crank the power up? Like way past 11. Might destroy it. And free everyone connected to the hive mind. Theoretically. But that reservoir's got to be mobbed with symbiotes. And you know Harry's not going to let that rock out of his sight. Unless he sees something he wants more. Me. <laughs> Just, you know, for illustrative purposes. Harry's still Harry. He thinks he's healing the world. But the dream isn't complete without... His best friend beside him. I can lead Harry away from the meteorite. And I can handle all the symbiotes. While I grab the space rock. For illustrative purposes. All right. Fire up the accelerator. No more hive mind. World saved. We all get churros? Theoretically. Pete, what Connor said about Harry being too far gone. If you can't save him, are you. We'll come to that. You two will be able to destroy the rock in time. Let's heal the world. For real this time. Let's do it!
So the meteorite is somewhere in that thing? So are Harry and his friends. Here. I figured you could use a sonic touch. <sighs> They're just standing there. What are they waiting for? Menacingly! Maybe it's the way you dress. Look, I can't thank you both enough for everything. Come on, bro. We're the spider team. <laughs> Don't anyone forget it? Miles, I'm changing you out of that immediately again. Hey, buddy! You gonna sit in there and play with your pet rock all night? It's you and me, Harry. Like we always wanted. Come on out, bro! <laughs> Our gift will finally be yours. Here's the thing, though. How'd you do that? You're gonna have to catch me first. Let's go, Miles, man. Spider Morales. MJ, now! Why don't we all just use that? It's so much easier. Cool. Well, that's convenient. You wanted a story, Watson. What was Ooh. that? A dead end? No. There has to be a way in. Do I not just shoot this? Oh. Oh. My bad. Whoever dropped these flares. I hope they made it out. Connors, maybe? Ooh. What the hell? I'm coming! <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> I'll save you! This is so easy! Oscorp. At least they left more than just flares behind. You could not go. Now we're just playing a third person shooter as MJ. Nice one, MJ! You got moves! If Peter bites MJ, she can become Spider Woman. I thought I saw one coming from the right. Spinoosh! Oops. I'm out. Excellent, excellent. Looks like the meteorite's connected to the rest of the hive. Shoot it. Surely it can't be that easy. Normal rock. I can also end the world. Uh oh. Nice. 
Nice! But also really bad. Maybe she can turn into Scream again and we can play as that and fuck up all the other symbiotes. And away we go! Let's go, Ellie. Okay, sprint, 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 kill, kill, sprint, kill, sprint! Oh shit! Ow. Sprint! Sprint! Scary. Just keep sprinting, just keep sprinting. Almost out of this hell hole. Looks like an exit's just past that chopper. Probably could have snuck up on them, but the game told me to sprint. I'm gonna sprint. Yeah, everybody stand around these. Makes it a lot easier for me. <laughs> yes, sir! Huge mama! Ow. Okay, I need to get you near one of these. Actually doing a lot of damage to him. Ow. I just don't have spider sense. Or common sense. That symbiote's big, but I'm fast. Ow. That was actually pretty easy. Good call. All right, Miles, man. Time to go, Miles. You could just pick her up and go. You ready? Nice. I thought I'd have to play as Miles and like switch between them. Pretty sure your plus one isn't invited to our high school reunion, Harry. Harry? Why do you even have a spider sense? It never works. <laughs> Convenient place to be. It's fight time. Oh god, why did the camera fucking... Remember everything we've been through. The camera like turned around immediately at the start of the fight. Okay, three health bars. Did you forget about Flash kicking our asses for four years? But we had each other. What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh god. This sucks! Stay off the ground, dodge everything! Ow! Jesus, he attacks fast! Okay, I need to have my head screwed on for this. Fucking hell! Jesus Christ! Kicking our asses for four 
It's hard to know what I can parry and what I'm supposed to be dodging. He's inspecting everything around us. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to just go here. Oh, I see. Now I see what you were trying to get me to do. This is scary to fight. Oh, thank God. I pressed L1. After your mom got sick, we couldn't feel that. Hopefully, each health bar is a checkpoint. Oh, within the fucking work. That day on the football field, I was there. Always have been. Until he got sick again. You abandoned us while we were fighting for our lives. I was. Where the fuck you. am I? Like Ow! God fucking damn it. Did that still hit him? Okay, one health bar down. You want to join us? We know it. Nice. Do I have a surge that I can use? Not yet. Why do you keep fighting us? You're not giving me a choice. Oh man, I have to fight all these as well. Fucking damn it, this is too much to handle. I'm pressing dodge! God, I can't fucking hit anything! They keep just dodging shit! Free Harry with more anti venom. So I have to attack them to get anti venom build up to use an ability on Harry. And that's how I damage him. Okay. It's kind of confusing. Whoa! Fuck him up, Pete! Fuck him up, Pete! So am I just doing this fight in chunks then? Ah. Oh, come on! By the time you get off the fucking ground, he's attacking again. Go over here. 
Did they all follow? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Hey there, biggin. Take those things out. You won't let me fucking attack any of them, though. It's like they keep dodging everything that I have. One at a time. Not working. God fucking damn it! I couldn't see. Okay, there we go. And wait, that didn't affect him. God fucking damn it! There's so much happening on screen. Oh, that's actually a waste. There you go. Fry him. Fry his ass. Nice, nice. 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 I'm very sloppy, but we're getting there. Nice venom booty cheeks, bro. It'll be all the <laughs> God, he looks phenomenal. Doesn't matter what you do to me. I'm never gonna heal the world with you. Not like this. The meteorite. You took it from us. The fuck is that? Excuse me? Ever done that before? It seems kind of obvious to just make wings. I think the goo aliens are mad we took their stuff. Yeah, well, they started it. <laughs> Whoa. So much for the helmet, it fell off. Oh, that is pretty fucking cool. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, let Miles fight him. He's so beefy. really mean to do that, but I'll take it. Ow! I made a promise, Harry, that I fight for you. You don't 
care of us. You don't know us. I know you talk to your mom, just like I talked to my dad. Remember? What's he ah. saying right now? That we are so close. Ah, that was a crush attack. I'm not gonna let yeah, big damage. This is his dream too. Fuck yeah! Dude, Miles is unstoppable. He's so much stronger. Miles! Peter doesn't need you anymore. He has us now. That's bad. Wake up, Pete! Wing up! Or no. Let's go, Miles! Round two, big boy! You're not doing this for Pete! You're doing this for yourself! You're holding Pete back. Took him away from us. Took him away. What the hell are you talking about? Damn it. Remember what you did. Harry, man, that's the symbiote talking, not you. You were jealous. That's why you pushed us apart. There you go. Maybe I was. But Pete wasn't Pete. You think you're better Damn it. than us, don't you? This ain't about who's better. I just prefer you without the psycho alien on. Ow! Oh, I still worked nice. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold, hold on. Oh, I can't change suits. Damn it. Wings. Ow. You can't see it now. We're not so different, man. Who's stuff to slow him down? Nice. Ow. Ow. We gave you our chance. <sighs> Whoa! Harry! Pete. He's still in there. That didn't really work, did it? That looks so good. Nice, nice, nice. Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man. Pete, 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 Pete. Pete. Back, my friend. We 
are your friend. When did you do that? Cool. God damn! Fuck yeah! Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man, Miles, Pete, Miles, Pete! Fucking epic! You ready to finish this? Almost. Jesus. Fight, Harry! Fight! I can't. I'm done. You have to kill us. Church bell. There must be a bell there, right? They fly now! They fly now! Harry! Please! Damn, Yuri Longthal put his whole fucking ussy into that one. Wish I had venom wings.
That's a quick fix. <laughs> Wait, is Harry dead? Squish it! Step on it! We did it! Yeah. Begin to think MJ is stronger than either of them. Oh, he's not dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Defibrillator Morales. At least he's alive. Harry. Pulse is weak. We gotta move. What have you done? What have you done to him? I'm so sorry. I'm coming with you, wait. traces of brain activity, but his chances of coming back are very slim. Just keep him alive. Get the G serum ready. ASAP. There it is. For the last few years, tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. But we somehow kept going. 
We battled sickness, evil, cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed, numb. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But what about you? In this ongoing series, I will be talking with Podcast. people throughout the city, exploring our new behaviors, new routines, new thoughts and feelings. I hope you'll join me on this journey. This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. Straight to publishing? MJ, are you crazy? You gotta edit! <laughs> so what's the difference between wheat cakes, pancakes, and flapjacks? Nice. I don't know. Are these good to go? In a minute, I wanna show you something first. Okay. It has molasses in it. Oh. Um, I'll take those. <laughs> Potatoes and molasses. If you want to see, put on your glasses. Thanks again for the donation, Peter. Started it. Have you talked to Miles about? Not yet. He quitting? You ready? Uh, Miles. I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about some. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you all, all the time. It's it's, it's great uh, to talk. So many good talks. I just haven't been talking to you about what I should have been talking to you, about. Pete. Uh, wait. Uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. Go be Peter Parker for a while. Are you... Are you sure? It's... It's a big city. I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. <laughs> Maybe not now, but... There'll come a time. I'm here for you. Always. Hey, bro. See you. <laughs> now it's time for spider babies. Whoa, just like that. Holy God. Well, it, it was way shorter than I expected. I, I don't know why I expected this to be like 30 hours long just for the story, but 
what they told with the story, I feel like was perfect. They didn't drag it out way too much. It was very laser focused. So I'm glad that they just told a really good story and then got out and didn't overstay its welcome or just keep things plodding along for no reason. It was, it was very lean and it was very, very, very good. The whole game was incredible. The traversal system is so much better. The combat was much better. The story was leaps and bounds better than the first game. Because I was into the story in the first game, but I didn't really know like anything about Mr. Negative. And it was just kind of hard to really get invested in it. But stuff with Harry and Venom and Craven all felt way more personal to Peter and Miles. And it felt way more serious and dangerous like craven actually felt scary he killed vulture and scorpion and then when venom showed up he was even scarier so all the stuff that was happening was like i actually don't know who's going to survive and who's not and i didn't know where it was going to go so it actually kept me on the edge of my seat and i was really curious to see where the story was going and i i didn't really have that with the first game it was like yeah the story's fun and i'm following it along but i i wasn't like god i gotta see what's next but this one I definitely was, I couldn't put it down. And the side content is all way better, even though it is still a little repetitive. I feel like that's just open worlds in general, it's kind of hard to do anything super unique with it. And the stuff you're doing is very Spider-Man stuff, like you're just helping out your friendly neighborhood and... It makes sense for the game, but it is a shame that it is still kind of repetitive, so... Um, that's why I wasn't doing too much of it during the series because I the story was just like moving at such a good pace that I didn't want to slow it down so I'll probably do another episode where I do more side content get more suits wrap up a couple of things I probably I don't think I'll 100% the game in videos but at least one more just to kind of see what else the game has to offer and get into more of the combat and do more of the side activities do the symbiote nests do more of the Mysterio things But overall I really enjoy that that was a 10 out of 10 experience dude shout out to insomniac for this kind of stuff I feel like they get credit, but not enough credit for how Incredibly top tier their studio is like they've released four games on the ps5 now like spider-man remastered miles morales the ratchet and clank game and now this and all of them are hugely impressive like big productions and they look impressive the technology behind them is incredible the the amount of animations that are going on in this game at any given time the camera work the choreography the mocap the lighting the sound design like it's all the best in the business it's just really impressive also venom is the coolest he's ever been really intimidating really scary I just loved it. Start to finish, everything was incredible. I'm so glad that it was good, because the little bit that I got to play before the game came out, I was like, dude, this is something special. And now that I actually did get to play it, I it's just like tripled my love for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. It's, it's definitely one of those series that you're waiting for all year long, and you're like, man, this is going to be big for the channel. Everyone's going to be into it. It's going to be so much fun to do. Oh. Let's see, maybe there's a post-credits in typical Marvel fashion. Norman? <laughs> Norman's on sabbatical, honey. Oh, Otto. What do you want? The Spider-Men. You know who they are, don't you? Why? They ruined my son. We all have to experience loss. 
Even you, Norman. What are you writing? The final chapter. Cool. Um, yeah, I do like that they're setting up Norman as Green Goblin for the next one using the G serum. Maybe Harry will be back as Hobgoblin or something. I don't know. But I, I've been really excited to see what they do with Green Goblin in this universe. Because I think it'll be really cool. Um, yeah, overall, incredible experience. I had an absolute blast with it. I'll do another episode. I am also glad that they set up Carnage for the next one. I thought maybe that would be a post credit scene of showing Carnage, but they did it nearer the end. So that was cool as well. So whatever the next game's going to be, maybe they are just doing a trilogy. Maybe they are just doing a third one and they'll end it there. Because he said it's the final chapter. So maybe Insomniac are like, we'll do, we'll do three and then we'll get out. <laughs> Because I can imagine these are very, very hard games to make. So, overall, congrats to the whole team for making such a wonderful experience. I'm really excited for all of you to be able to play it. Because the game isn't even out yet by the time I've finished the whole series. Which is a, a really cool thing to be able to say that you're able to do. So I'm really thankful for Sony and Insomniac for sending me the code as well. But I'm, I'm just excited to see people's reactions to the series and... To be able to play it for themselves and to see the theories and the discussion and everything going on around it because video games are awesome and i absolutely love when a big game like this comes out and we all get to experience it together and it's so much fun so thank you so much for watching for another series of spider-man if you want more of this maybe go back and watch the previous series of miles morales and the original spider-man if you haven't watched those already I'll do another video right after this one, so stay tuned for that. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hungry. Food's almost ready. Why don't you go show her your essay? He worked so hard on it. guy in Harlem, probably seen him volunteering in the city, helping out his city council mom, and trying to live up to his hero dad. Yeah. This is Albert. Uh, hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, and uh, <laughs> this is my daughter, Cindy. <laughs>